Hi, Chan. What's the matter? Oh, no. I fell down again. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, I forgot to close the door to the basement, and Zach had a bad fall. The doctor says it looks much worse than it really is. Yeah, sure, you all say the same thing. The kid fell down the steps. Don't you have anything better to say than that? It's true. Look, I don't have to justify myself to you. You don't have any right talking to me like that. Hey, how you doing? You must be the Mr. Kimball we hear so much about. You hit the kid, I hit you. you Worth it. I'm pressing charges against you. Excuse me, everybody. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have hit the men, especially in front of the children. It was a mistake. I checked you out. There is no record of you ever having taught at any public school in California or anywhere else. Mr. Kimball, you have no teaching experience whatsoever, do you? Someone finally noticed. I thought the introduction of a ferret was a horrible idea, but the children seemed to like it. I thought the use of your police whistle was outrageous, but... It's all I could think of. Please allow me to finish. Sorry. But it worked. I have no idea what kind of police officer you are, but you're a very good teacher. Thank you. Now, will you tell me something? Don't lie. What did it feel like? to hit that son of a b It felt great. Yeah. Well, uh, tomorrow morning, bright and early. Thank you. Yeah. Excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is John Kimball. And I love my car. Yo, man, I'm hey. just gonna keep an eye on it for you, all right? See what I'm saying? Hey, you, you gotta watch you doing. Right. Who think he is? He look at him and kick his ass. <laughs> Place. So who are you, man? I'm the party pooper. Hi, Cindy. Do you mind if I sit down? No, sit down, man. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. What are you doing here, you? 
Saying, dear, I don't like you using foul language. Not a classy girl like you. Don't you have anything better to do? You don't understand. I have nothing else to do, and I have nowhere else to go. Why are you staring at me like that? I like you, Cindy. I'm gonna be around you a lot. Days, nights, weekends, holidays. No, no, you can't. Yes, I can. I'm gonna hang out with you until the end of time. Very good. Did very well. Now we're going to play another game. When you heard two whistle blows, each one of you take your toy back where you got it from and come right back to the carpet. How many whistle blows? Two! Good. Ready? Go! Come on. Come right back to the carpet. Yes, it works. This is great. Faster, faster, come on. Yes, come back. Terrific, this is working. Great, great. I mean, you're very good deputies. Your sheriff is proud of you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, He's a cop in a class by himself. He is fearless, unstoppable, unbeatable. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is John Kimball. And I love my car. Yo, man, I'm hey. just gonna keep an eye on it for you, all right? Now, he's going undercover to face his toughest adversary. Listen, Kimball. You gotta handle this like any other police situation. They speak their own language. You walk into it showing fear, you're dead. They play by their own rules. No fear. No fear. And they are totally ruthless. No fear. No fear. Out the, the teacher is teaching the golden rule. Kindergarten cop. American history and practical man. He's a cop in a class by himself. Shut up! What's the matter? Oh, I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor at all. The new comedy from Ivan Reitman. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Kindergarten Cop.
They're horrible. 